Hey guys, so I just wanted to come on and do a video as I style my hair for the day. I just finished this makeup look. I'm really liking it. Super cute. I'm kind of mad I didn't film it for you guys. But, all good. So my hair is twisted. It's been twisted since yesterday. I washed it, or since Sunday. It was wash day, so I washed my hair, and then I just put it in these twists. And I took a shower today, and I re-dampened them, because I don't know, I'm just not a huge fan of dry twists. I know that sounds so crazy, because like, the typical natural's nightmare is a twist out that is not dry. Meanwhile, I'm over here like, please, I need a damp twist out in my life. <laughs> So anyway, I just ran the water over it just a little bit, or I, rather I got some water in my hands and then just kind of ran them through the twists, just to dampen it up a little bit. And my undercut is in major need of a trim, and I go see Summer Jay the Barber on Friday, but it is Tuesday. So... <laughs> We really not trying to show the undercut. I mean, that's really not what I'm trying to do with my life right now. I don't want to, I don't want to uh, subject y'all to that madness. So we're going to have to figure out a way to kind of have the hair down and covering up my undercut. So we're not showing what's really going on underneath there. So can I tell y'all how excited I am for Saturday, my Fearless Textures meetup here in Atlanta? I'm like so excited about the event in general and then I'm excited to meet those of you that are gonna be there. Ugh. It's all about meeting you guys, you know, and actually, I mean, having an opportunity to really get to spend time with you guys. So, you know, social media is cool and everything, but at the end of the day, it's really about that, you know, personal contact and really being able to see people's faces and, you know, impact people in a positive way. And I can't really know that I'm doing that and, you know, unless I see your faces. So I'm excited. Y'all, I'm thinking about just letting this hair just do what it does today. I could add a scarf to it. I've been doing that lately and you guys really like those scarf looks and they do the job for covering up the undercut when it needs to be trimmed. Um, but I don't know that I have a, star, a scarf that really goes that great with what I'm wearing today. But I'm loving this twist out, y'all. What did I use to twist my hair? Oh, I didn't use anything. I used um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In by Shea Moisture, that's it. I wore this blue one the other day and a lot of you guys liked that one. It's kind of this one of those um, infinity scarves and I just, you know, took it like this, put it behind, pulled it up and tied it in a bow. A knot, actually, not even a bow, because it's so it's really thick. I just tied it in a knot, and that was it. Oh, maybe this one. It kind of goes with my makeup. Okay, let me see what I can do with the scarf right here. So it looks like this. It's got lots of metallics in it. I think I'm gonna pull the back of this here up, wrap a hair tie around it, and then. Or you know what, I could start up here. No, let's start in the back. That way I can make sure I'm covering the entire undercut.
I just realized I just stopped talking in the middle of making this video. <laughs> That's because I was trying to figure it out, y'all. I was trying to figure out what I was doing. It's so cute and really girly. I like it. So this is it, guys. Another really cute scarf updo. This is a new one for me, so I am liking it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah...